Have you ever wished for something so much that it felt almost real? Maybe it was a dream job, a loving relationship, or a life-changing opportunity. What if I told you that your imagination could be the key to turning those wishes into reality? Today, we're going to explore a powerful technique that can help you manifest your desires, imagining something 100 times to make it real. This concept is rooted in the law of attraction, a principle that has captured the attention of many seeking to improve their lives. Let's dive into the incredible power of our imagination. Our thoughts are not just fleeting ideas. They have the potential to shape our reality in profound ways. The human brain is a remarkable organ, capable of creating vivid mental experiences that feel as real as physical ones. When we imagine something intensely and repeatedly, our brain processes these thoughts as if they were actually happening. This is why athletes use visualization techniques to improve their performance and why mental rehearsal can be as effective as physical practice in many situations. The law of attraction is based on the idea that our thoughts and beliefs have a direct impact on what we experience in life. It suggests that by focusing our thoughts on positive outcomes, we can attract those outcomes into our lives. While this concept might sound mystical, there's a lot of practical psychology behind it. When we consistently think about something, we become more attuned to opportunities related to it. We're more likely to notice and act on chances that align with our goals. Now let's talk about the 100 times technique. This method involves vividly imagining your desired outcome 100 times. It's not just about casually thinking about what you want. It's about creating a detailed, multi-sensory experience in your mind. The power of this technique lies in repetition. By imagining your goal 100 times, you're essentially programming your subconscious mind to believe in and work towards that outcome. To understand why this works, we need to look at how our brains process repeated thoughts. Our brains are incredibly adaptable, a quality known as neuroplasticity. When we repeat a thought or action consistently, our brain creates and strengthens neural pathways associated with that thought or action. This is how habits are formed, and it's also how we can reshape our beliefs and expectations. The subconscious mind which governs a large portion of our thoughts and behaviors, is particularly responsive to repetition. By consistently feeding it positive goal-oriented thoughts, we can influence our automatic responses and behaviors. So, how do you put the 100 times technique into practice? First, choose a clear and specific goal. Vague wishes like, I want to be happy, are harder to visualize and manifest than specific goals like, I want to start my own business, or I want to buy my dream home. Once you have your goal, create a vivid mental image of it. Imagine not just what it looks like, but what it feels like to achieve this goal. What emotions are you experiencing? What can you hear, smell, or touch in this scenario? The more detailed and sensory-rich your visualization, the more powerful it will be. Set aside time each day for this practice. You might do all 100 visualizations in one sitting or spread them out throughout the day. The key is consistency. Make this a daily habit, just like brushing your teeth or eating breakfast. As you practice, you may find that your visualizations become more vivid and believable over time. While this technique can be powerful, it's important to be aware of common pitfalls. Negative self-talk can undermine your efforts. If you're constantly telling yourself that your goal is impossible or that you don't deserve success, these negative thoughts can cancel out the positive ones you're trying to cultivate. 
work on challenging and replacing these negative beliefs. Another common issue is lack of belief or consistency. Some people try the technique for a few days, don't see immediate results, and give up. Remember that you're working on rewiring deep-seated thought patterns and beliefs. This takes time and consistent effort. Be patient with yourself and the process. Impatience with results can also be a stumbling block. While some people report quick manifestations using this technique, for many, the results unfold gradually. You might start noticing small changes or opportunities that align with your goal before the big manifestation occurs. Celebrate these small wins and see them as signs that you're on the right track. It's worth noting that many successful people throughout history have used similar visualization techniques. From athletes to entrepreneurs to artists, the power of focused, repeated visualization has been a tool for achievement across various fields. While everyone's journey is unique, these success stories can serve as inspiration and motivation. However, it's crucial to understand that imagination alone isn't enough. The law of attraction isn't about sitting back and waiting for your desires to magically appear. It's about aligning your thoughts, beliefs, and actions with your goals. As you practice the 100 times technique, you'll likely find yourself becoming more attuned to opportunities related to your goal. You might notice relevant information, meet helpful people, or feel inspired to take specific actions. The key is to recognize these opportunities and act on them. To make the most of this practice, consider keeping a manifestation journal. Write down your goal, describe your visualizations, and note any changes or opportunities you notice in your daily life. This can help you stay motivated and track your progress over time. Celebrating small wins along the way is important too. Did you have a particularly vivid visualization? Did you take a small step towards your goal? Acknowledge and appreciate these moments. Now let's address some common skepticism about the law of attraction and visualization techniques. Critics often argue that these methods are nothing more than wishful thinking or self-delusion. However, there's growing scientific evidence supporting the power of positive thinking and visualization. Studies have shown that optimistic thinking can improve health outcomes, enhance problem-solving abilities, and increase resilience in the face of challenges. Visualization techniques have been proven effective in sports psychology, pain management, and skill acquisition. That said, it's important to maintain a balanced perspective. The 100 times technique and the law of attraction are tools to help you focus your mind, increase your motivation, and open yourself up to opportunities. They're not magic spells that guarantee instant success without effort. They work best when combined with practical action steps and a willingness to learn and adapt. As you practice this technique, you might find that its benefits extend beyond your personal goals. Many people report that cultivating a more positive, goal-oriented mindset improves their overall outlook on life. You might find yourself becoming more optimistic, more resilient in the face of setbacks, and more appreciative of the good things in your life. This positive mindset can have a ripple effect, influencing your interactions with others and potentially inspiring those around you. You can even use this technique to visualize positive changes in your community or the world at large. While you can't control external events, you can visualize yourself contributing to positive change in meaningful ways. This might lead you to discover new ways to make a difference or inspire you to take action on issues you care about. As we wrap up, 
I encourage you to give the 100 times technique a try. Start with a goal that's meaningful to you, something that excites you when you think about it. Commit to practicing your visualizations daily for at least 30 days. This will give you enough time to establish the habit and start noticing changes in your thoughts and potentially your circumstances. Remember, the journey of personal growth and manifestation is unique for everyone. Be patient with yourself in the process. Some days your visualizations might feel vivid and inspiring. Other days it might be harder to focus. That's perfectly normal. The key is consistency and a willingness to keep showing up for yourself and your dreams. As you embark on this practice, pay attention to how your thoughts and attitudes shift over time. You might notice that you become more aware of opportunities related to your goal. You might find yourself feeling more confident or motivated. These are all positive signs that the technique is working even if your ultimate goal hasn't manifested yet. It's also important to stay open to how your goal might manifest. Sometimes the universe, or life, if you prefer, has a way of bringing us what we need in unexpected ways. The job you visualize might come in a different form, but lead to even better opportunities. The relationship you imagine might unfold in a way you didn't expect, but that's perfect for you. Stay open to these possibilities and trust the process. As you practice, you might find it helpful to connect with others who are on a similar journey. Sharing experiences, challenges, and successes can provide motivation and insight. Consider joining online communities or local groups focused on personal development and the law of attraction. However, be discerning about the information and advice you take on. Trust your own intuition and experiences as you navigate this practice. Remember that the 100 times technique is just one tool in your personal development toolkit. It can be powerful when combined with other practices like gratitude, mindfulness, and goal setting. Experiment with different combinations to find what works best for you. You might find that starting your day with gratitude, followed by your visualization practice, sets a positive tone for the rest of your day. As you continue with this practice, you may find that your goals evolve. That's perfectly normal and even desirable. As we grow and change, our desires and aspirations often shift too. Don't be afraid to adjust your visualizations as your goals change. The skills you develop through this practice, focused thinking, positive visualization, and aligned action, will serve you well no matter what specific goals you're working towards. It's also worth considering how this practice might impact your overall well-being. Many people report feeling more relaxed and centered after their visualization sessions. You might find that this practice helps reduce stress and anxiety as it gives you a sense of control and optimism about your future. Pay attention to these effects and appreciate them as additional benefits of your practice. As you become more adept at visualization, you might want to explore other related techniques. For example, some people find it helpful to create vision boards, collages of images that represent their goals and desires. Others use affirmations in conjunction with their visualizations, repeating positive statements that align with their goals. Feel free to explore and incorporate any methods that resonate with you and enhance your practice. It's important to maintain a balance between working towards your goals and appreciating your current life. While it's great to have aspirations and to work towards them, don't forget to enjoy the present moment. Practice gratitude for what you already have, even as you visualize what you want to achieve. This balanced approach can help you maintain a positive outlook 
and reduce feelings of lack or dissatisfaction. As you progress with the 100 times technique, you might find that it becomes easier to believe in your ability to create positive change in your life. This increased self-efficacy can spill over into other areas of your life, boosting your confidence and willingness to take on new challenges. You might find yourself setting bigger goals or taking on projects you previously thought were out of reach. Remember that setbacks and challenges are a normal part of any journey. If you encounter obstacles or delays in manifesting your desires, don't get discouraged. Instead, see these as opportunities for growth and learning. Ask yourself what lessons you can take from these experiences. Sometimes, what seems like a setback can actually be redirecting you towards an even better outcome. It's also important to be mindful of the impact your goals and actions have on others. As you work towards manifesting your desires, make sure that your goals are ethical and don't cause harm to others. The most fulfilling achievements are often those that not only benefit us, but also positively impact the people around us or contribute to the greater good. As you continue with this practice, you might find that your intuition becomes stronger. Pay attention to any hunches or gut feelings you have, especially if they're related to your goals. Often, our subconscious mind picks up on subtle cues that our conscious mind misses. Trusting your intuition can lead you to unexpected opportunities and insights. Remember that the 100 times technique is not about forcing outcomes or controlling every aspect of your life. It's about setting a clear intention, aligning your thoughts and actions with that intention, and then allowing the process to unfold. Sometimes, the way our desires manifest can be even better than what we initially imagined. Stay open to possibilities and trust in the process. As you practice visualization, you might find that your creativity in other areas of life increases. Many people report feeling more inspired and imaginative after regularly engaging in visualization exercises. This enhanced creativity can be beneficial in problem solving, coming up with new ideas, or expressing yourself artistically. It's also worth noting that this practice can have a positive impact on your relationships. As you become more positive and goal-oriented, you might find that you attract like-minded individuals into your life. Your enthusiasm and optimism can be infectious, inspiring others around you to pursue their own goals and dreams. As you continue with the 100 times technique, remember that consistency is key. It's better to visualize for a short time each day than to do long sessions sporadically. Find a rhythm that works for you and stick with it. Over time, this practice can become a cherished part of your daily routine, something you look forward to rather than a chore. The 100 times technique, rooted in the law of attraction, offers a powerful way to focus your mind and align your thoughts with your desires. By consistently visualizing your goals, you're training your brain to recognize and act on opportunities that can bring you closer to those goals. Remember, this is not about magical thinking, but about harnessing the power of your mind to create positive change in your life. As you embark on this journey, approach it with an open mind and a spirit of curiosity. Be patient with yourself and the process celebrate small wins along the way, and stay committed to your practice. Your mind is a powerful tool, and learning to use it effectively can lead to remarkable changes in your life. So, are you ready to harness the power of your imagination? Are you willing to commit to visualizing your goals 100 times? The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and your first step is just a visualization away. 
Why not start today? Who knows what amazing changes you might create in your life? The power is in your hands, or more accurately, in your mind. Let's begin this exciting journey of manifestation and personal growth together.